Angry words today from protesters who want a city council aide to be fired after making hostile comments about them. Attendance reporter Allison Ash is now live downtown. And Allison, these protesters got confrontational with Councilwoman Lori Zapp, whose aide made that comment. Yeah, as some of them actually even want Lori Zaff to step down after one of her staffers said she wanted to shoot the protesters who staged a die-in during city council's swearing-in ceremony over at Golden Hall last week. Those words did not go over very well. Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands protesters left San Diego City College and headed to City Hall with police officers in tow. They're the same group who last week made a quiet scene inside Golden Hall as they laid on the floor, pretending to be dead. These pictures shared by our media partners at KPBS. After the protest, Council aide Shirley Owen called them effing idiots, then added, I wanted to shoot them. It was not only just insensitive, it was completely out of line. In council chambers, protest organizer Mark Jones looked Lori Zaff straight in the eye, saying the statement represents the very kind of institutional racism the hands up, don't shoot protesters have been calling attention to. To be threatened in that manner, it's, it's not something uh, worthy of somebody who is representing our community. Jones presented city council with a list of demands, including the immediate firing of Owen and more oversight and training as it relates to racism and police use of force. The NAACP offered a letter in support of those recommendations, as did one city council member. After reviewing the request, I do believe that further review is warranted. No action was taken on the issue, and although the protesters did get their concerns across, they didn't leave happy. And she he, needs to be held accountable. She needs to be fired immediately. All of the fact that the council members are not calling on her to be fired is, is repugnant. And the meeting ended abruptly after some of the protesters complained that city council wasn't giving them enough time to talk about uh, the problems that they're facing. Now, Zaff said, never said a word. We did contact her office, and a spokesperson told us that she will have no further comment on this controversy. We're live downtown. Allison Ash, 10 News. All right.